Welcome back for episode two of It's Expensive, But Is It Good? Today we are looking at one of the most expensive N64 games out there, Stunt Racer. With the N64 being released in 1996 and Stunt Racer not coming out until the 2000s, plus it was primarily available in Blockbuster, this game was destined to skyrocket in value one day once people realized how rare it was. The burning question to answer though, we know it's expensive, but is it good? Well, after about six to eight hours of playing, I was able to learn the game, get through its five leagues, and finished each boss race, and used my cash to unlock the fastest vehicle available. There are a lot of good and bad things to consider about Stunt Racer, so let's jump in. First off, its presentation honestly feels a bit rushed and kind of lazy. They used a lot of still sprites and scrolling dialogue, which is something you might expect from Super Nintendo, but not late in the N64 lifespan. The audio of this game is weird, man. It sounds unfinished. It's hard to describe, but legitimately sounds like whoever made this had never done it before, or like they only had a day or two to create and implement the music. Even the sound effects are kind of hit and miss. There are some unique sounds that you may start to like, such as its boost, but most are kind of jarring and don't really fit well. As far as the racing goes, there's definitely a learning curve involved with Stunt Racer. It takes a while to get used to how stiff and delayed the turning is, but the control does get easier as you unlock more vehicles, eventually. Stunt Racer has a mandatory tutorial to complete before you can start. Depending on how you look at this, you could hate it or understand why they did it. It will most likely take at least around 10 tries for a decent gamer to beat this, since there is a time limit and it's not really that easy at all. You have stunts to pull, top speeds to hit, and you must make sure to collect enough coins and the bonus items it has listed. On the other hand, there's a real sense of accomplishment and relief to finally pass the tutorial. Plus, you are absolutely better off going into races now that you've been literally forced to improve to such a point early on. So advancing through the first circuit or two honestly feels easier than completing the tutorial. The leagues have an interesting structure where you have to place well enough to make the cut in each set of the races. You can choose which of the available races you want to enter first, so that's pretty cool and helps avoid the frustration of having to play one course too often. Plus, it can make it easier to practice certain tracks if you ever had a hard time with one. Overall, there aren't actually very many courses in this game at all anyway, and with how the leagues work, you will definitely play through the same tracks dozens of times. Not like that's a big deal anyway, because this is a racing game and it is rewarding to see your improvement. Things that keep the game playable are enjoying your improvement, collecting coins on the road, and also by performing stunts in order to purchase upgrades, and also being able to unlock more tracks. The levels are all pretty different and weird, so they're interesting to play through. The game has an overall pretty weird personality in general, with strange sounds, characters, and tracks. The driving is heavily momentum based, so you need to avoid contact with walls and stay as straight as possible in order to reach your top speeds, and this only comes from practice. Since the racing itself is pretty challenging due to stiff, delayed turning, that just makes the taste of victory even sweeter, and I did enjoy playing more and more as I got deeper into the game. One thing that can definitely take away from the experience, aside from the lack of quality audio, is that the game can get buggy and therefore feel pretty cheap. There were plenty of times where I was having a good race and out of nowhere my vehicle would react in an unpredictable manner as it landed from a jump or on a stunt. While this can be frustrating and feel pretty stupid, the game is pretty forgiving with its checkpoint and continues anyway. While my initial response to some hot garbage was outrage, I would remind myself that this is an F0X where every life counts. And if you experience any of this crap earlier in the qualifying rounds, you can just tank a race or two anyway and you'll do well enough on the others to qualify. As I mentioned before, every league ends with a one-on-one -on -one with a boss race. One cool thing is that you get to keep the car of the boss and they're definitely a lot better than your upgraded starter car. Believe it or not, the final boss isn't even the hardest race in the game. And it's overall pretty disappointing, and here's why. Every boss track is a new course that's part of the next league. So in the fourth league, you're racing the most difficult track with missing walls, tough turns, and a few parts that can really mess you up, whether it's your fault or not. The consistent time of the fourth boss is around 151 to 153, and their vehicle is much better than yours. You need to honestly get a little lucky, race perfectly, or intervene with that boss car any opportunity you have. After about 15 tries or so, I was able to win after fishtailing him off the edge and holding the lead with the extra 10 seconds that bought me. The final boss, get this, is on the same course as the fourth league boss, but now you have the superior car from last league and the time to beat isn't really any different at all. So you have the same course, basically same time to beat, but with a faster vehicle, which leads me to believe once again that this was probably rushed. 
Overall, Stunt Racer is an okay racing game with a few tricks, stiff control, some weird courses, bugs, and a D- in the sound department. So to finally answer the question, it's expensive, but is it good? I mean, it's not good. It's somewhere between pretty bad and okay. But I'm curious to see what you guys think. How many of you guys have played Stunt Racer before, and what do you think of it? I would love to read what you guys thought. In closing, remember to please like and subscribe if you watch the whole thing to help my little channel grow. I've got dozens more ideas coming, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks so much, and have a great day.